Hello, I'm Mike Levin, and today I'm going to talk about one of the biggest obstacles to becoming more technical and a skilled programmer, and that is having a long-term place to run code. Now, it sounds like such an easy thing, but you'll recall my prior video, and if you haven't seen it, you should go watch it, about the TikTok effect of life and the snowball effect, in which I discuss how when you're starting out to do something, it's like rolling a snowball to build a snowman, because each thing you do has to be adding mass to your prior accomplishment. So it gets larger and larger and larger with each rotation. And only in that way can you achieve very large things uh, and get compounding returns. It takes on sort of a life of its own. You see that in many uh, effects in life. So here you are. And on this side, you are a noob, or whatever you want to call starting out. And on this side, you are a master coder. And to get from here to here, you're going to be working on a code base. You might have various code bases in life, but any way you look at it, that code is going to have to run somewhere multiple places, but you've got code that has to run. And so you, you choose something, and the things you could choose are uh, cloud. It's easy to get the uh, Amazon Web Services one year free. That's a great way to have a place to put code that's pretty reliably there for at least a year. You could use your home desktop. You could use some specialized hardware that you have at home, like a Raspberry Pi. Or you could use one of the many online services, like uh, Code Academy. Now, the problem is that when you start to code, it's like exactly like the snowball scenario. The first day you do something, the second day you build on top of that, the third day you build on top of that, and so on. Now the problem is life. Because if you're not fully committed to this, time passes by, you get over to here, and your whole execution environment, in, probably including your code, this dotted line around here, is your execution environment. Gone. Poof. Gone. Along with your code. And so this is the giant reset button. giant reset button of life is always pressed. This is just a truism as much for, for experts as it is for noobs. And you have to go back and start completely over. Uh, it's like a hard drive crash, but so many things can actually cause this if you're using the Amazon Web Service, after your one year is gone, if you ignore it and don't pay, it's gone. Home desktop, you got a hard drive crash, gone. Raspberry Pi, your, your SD card goes bad or it gets lost. Uh, or you have a power surge and it knocks it out, whatever, gone. Code Academy, it wasn't even code on your servers that you controlled in the first place, gone. So. The thing that I'm going to do with my 
technology education curriculum on digital electronics with an emphasis on programming is to help you get over this most pervasive truism and help you get past the long-term code loss by giving you a place to run your code that will always be there. Always there. It can be easily recreated. It uses standards. And it protects your code separately from the execution environment. So that's, I guess, the last thing. Protects your code. So we separate out the execution environment from your code. We make the execution environment something that you can magically bring back whenever you want. And I'll give you a little uh, preview. We're going to be using a virtual machine for that. In specific, we're going to be using the QEMU virtual machine to create a very standard Linux slash Unix environment where you can always pull your code back down to using Git. And there you have it. That's uh, the secret weapon that I'll be providing for a long-term place for you to run your code so that you never lose it, so that you can enjoy the benefit of the snowball effect. So that you can become a master coder over time without the giant reset button always being pressed. <laughs>